Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where you join me having just put down another very large cold water tank. I'm hoping that this will be enough to hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, keep all of the uh, cold water fish happy and to uh, have enough of them and all that. I don't know, I don't know, I haven't unlocked level 12 before so I don't know what kind of sharks and things you get at that level other than the, the whale shark thing I guess. So we need an orange juice maker. Um, I think we have now researched it, I think. Yes. So we'll put one in there, I guess. So if I can get 10 daily orange juice sales and 10 daily popcorn sales, we will be cooking with gas. Um, stick one in there. That looks like a nice place for an orange juice maker. We'll see how many there are naturally, and if we don't find that there are enough, I will again lower the price on it. Might be tomorrow that it'll properly kick in. Prestige is still going up. Which is quite nice. Lump sucker! Yay! Next research. Any other cold water fish that we can get? Atlantic cod. Oh, they grow to big guys, so they'll be good. Um, and the blonde skate, which also grows quite big. So yeah, there are still cold water fish to put into this tank, definitely. We just need to make sure that they play nicely together. Are you happy? They are happy, that's good. They need barely any decoration, but oh, we'll, we'll be fine. Verity, level seven feeding, wow. You're good at your job. I really, 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 really need to just wait for, like, some money to stack up here. I spent a lot of it on, uh, if you remember, this giant mega filter at the end of last episode. And I regret nothing. Because everything looks so much prettier. We sorted all of that out last time as well. It was really good. There's there's room for a lot of redundancy on the, on the filters. At the moment, I'm finding even when a couple of them are broken down, we're still quite good. So there's enough in the in the general chain that even when they're broken, see when they're broken, are they just? Ah, I see. Wow, someone is running around being an awesome fixer. That's amazing. Someone just like chung, and it was like done. That's that's a good thing about having specialists, so isn't it? So, nitrate reactor, large nitrate reactor. Oh, choose now, sorry. Um, what else do I want? Large pump, large tunnel tank. You can go up to 432 big. Wow. Might be quite nice. People needing toilets, or they're needing a sit down and a drink over here, so maybe another orange juice dispenser or coffee machine or something around here would be a good thing Ooh, Atlantic cod's done yes fish eating an enemy would be a nice one let's do the skate first and I'm just again I'm just like bringing some uh, getting some money together really I'm going to need to do some decorating in a minute too. So the OJ sales are a little bit low, but I do now have a second OJ machine. We're at three o'clock. We've got nearly enough popcorn sales. That's the hot shark hat. One more orange juice to sell and we are done. No, the day turned over too quickly. Okay, I'm going to lower the price on OJ just a little. Do that. See how many we get. Let's just watch this for a sec. The popcorn's up to five already. Six, seven, ten, eight, nine, ten. Oh, not again. I'll put another popcorn machine somewhere, I think. Near the entrance. I need OJ machines and popcorn machines near the entrance. That's what I need. Like, maybe take this one away. And replace it with an OJ machine. Oh, no, just take it away. Yeah, just take it. Just take all these away. 
But then they have to use them. Oh, look how many. Look how many they're doing now. Yay. Take away all the chocolate machines as well. All these cold water tanks. I'm just getting some money together as well. My shark has grown and lots of people have leveled up. So let's just think about this. So feeding is always a priority. Feeding. 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 Fixing. I'm guessing Jim is the guy. The guy for fixing. Feeding. Once they get up to 10, they can start being awesome at fixing as well. Apparently there's still one message. And the Wobbegong shark has grown to size 44 and can eat tank mates up to... Oh, I better check that. That's huge. Up to, up to size 17. I think it's a crustacean eater though, so I don't think it's too bad, but wow. Is it in there? Yeah. What do you actually eat? Fish... Fish up to 17. You're going to need your own blinking tank. How big is the leopard shark? Right, the leopard shark is 20. The horse-eyed jacks are 27. So they're all absolutely fine. The humpback snappers need to move. It, they will be eaten. Now, that wasn't something I was anticipating. At all. Wow, look at that guy. He's amazing. So we need big stuff in that tank. Now the humpback snappers are a problem in themselves because they will eat fish up to size 6. Okay, so what have we got over here? Is that full? Pretty full. All my tank's going to be pretty full, I think. Those are all cold water. That's a warm water one with some other sharks in, though. What's in there then? We've got a coral beauty in there. Um, and they will they're gonna they're gonna eat fish up to a certain size, aren't they? I've forgotten what size. What size do you eat up to? Up to size six. So all these ones that are size three would need to move if I wanted to put the humpback snapper in with the Apollat shark. The Apollat sharks are big enough to take it. The coral beauty and the Arabian butterfly fish would need to move somewhere else. This is always an issue. Actually, thinking about it, we've got this little, uh, this whole new little thing over here that's got all the clownfish and stuff in that they might be quite well adapted to. So they'll eat corals and clowns and they don't have any other worries really and the coral beauty only really doesn't like to be with others and it's a wimp yeah okay i think this will work you you and you get in there have a look at the tank they're unhappy with the vegetation so let's just sort that out and make sure they're 100 percent happy and not at any risk down some of that stuff maybe uh, yeah that gave us some rocks and that yeah that's quite nice maybe decorate it a bit uh, more later on but they think they're happy now everyone in there is very happy yes that's good so in theory <laughs> I hope this works the humpback snappers should be okay in with the sharks So instantly something wants to die. Lack of swimming space. How much swimming space do you need? Ninety six. Oh no. Okay. Well, what I can do then is make just a very slightly. I could just make slightly larger um, tank there, or I can make them another tank. I mean, they'll be okay for now in there. Oh, hang on. No, oh no, because they're active swimmers, isn't it? 
it's not is it this there's actually not enough space for them so if I take that out nah they need a bigger tank that sucks but never mind let me think so what about you guys you take 104 out of 120 so you wouldn't fit in a tank that's 90 I just want to see if any of the ones in a bigger tank would fit. How big is your tank? 60. They get smaller the further through the... further along here you go, the smaller it gets. So it's not going to help. Not going to help at all. The only other thing is the Wobblegong Shark itself... 44 and it's not an active swimmer oh yeah that's exactly what i need to do duh right humpback snappers back in here so they're back in with the leopard the leopard shark won't eat them only the wobblegong shark will and the power up sharks are large enough that if i take the wobblegong shark over here Pop him in. There was just enough room for him to do. And I changed some stuff around. Because of some stuff is for them. They need some rocks. Okay. None of them really need plants though. So we just need to rearrange a few things in the tanks. I'm just going to shut all that down. And have a look at the tank. So I need to get rid of these kelp. I'll probably get rid of actually all the decorations and just redo them. So we're needing Heidi Hole and 12 Rock. Okay. Gaping Cavern might do that. If it'll fit. Oh, we don't have that yet. Okay. Pitted Column will do 12 and 4. Yeah, Pitted Column. Do we have live rubble yet? Or is that later on? We only have rubble rubble. And how much are we short? We're short by... Eight. So four live rocks would do it. There! Everybody's happy! And no one's going to eat anyone. Yay! Hang on. It was 16. Is it eating up? No, it's eating up to 17, isn't it? That's why we couldn't have the snappers. Oh, this shark. This shark needs to, like, get a life. Yeah. That did nothing. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. It needs to be on its own, I think. Right, new idea. New idea. The Wobbegong Shark is going to go in this new tank over here. This new tank that's, like, quite big. Right? It's going to go in here. But I can't go in there yet. Because what we need to do first is to take all of the fish out of there and move them. So... All these clownfish and all of that stuff, they all need to go into the tank where the Epaulat sharks are. Okay. God, it's annoying because, oh man. Okay. Um, Wobbegong shark, you're going to go back into this one. It's like one of those puzzles where you slide the, you know the ones, where you slide the tiles around. It's one of those. So clownfish. Butterfly fish. I'm gonna have to change around a lot of these. Uh... It's actually gonna be quite a pretty tank in the end. What? The tank is full? Really? I may have to sell some of the clownfish then.
Okay, so now I've got room for the Wobbegong shark. I can't, can't believe he grew big enough to eat things that were 17s. Lack of vegetation, that's fine. Right. You could have been swimming in a nice big tank, but no, now you're going to have to go in your own tank. Over here. On your own. With less swimming space. Not that you care. And these guys over here need some more vegetation, so I'm going to have to sort all that out. Now they need seven vegetation and they need a bunch. Okay, live rocks mixed in with kelp and things, I think, is going to help with this. So I'm going to get rid of the large cavey thing. Oh, out of the wrong... Okay, wrong tank. I'll move the one out of here over. Sorry guys, there you go. Okay, so now, now we don't have enough rocks yet, but we can have enough rocks. We definitely can get enough. Right, so let's have a look at this uh, triangle tumbleweed. That'll give me three and four. That'll be useful. I need one more live rock and one more plant of some description. We need four, uh, we need a feather calupra basically at the front there or something. Not a particularly pretty tank now that one, but it'll do. It's got some nice fish in it, it just could do with a little bit of a little bit of bava voom, couldn't it, really? I wonder if there's any like decorations we could put in that are nice and tall. Or maybe get a column in there. The back there. Just make it look a bit... Yeah, that actually makes a big difference. Cool. Right, I think everyone will now live happily ever after together. Also, Jack's now eating eating size 10 things. It's crazy. But yeah, you, you just eat things that are way too big for your boots. So you need a cave in there, I think. To keep you happy. Okay, you need crab by you. Ah, oh, there's crab near enough. Move it over. These guys are going to need all sorts of things. Sand eels and uh, orange pellet. Sponge pellet. And green pellet. So orange. Green. There. Should have enough for that one now. Oh, wow. This is rough, but we'll just keep that guy there. He'll be happy. And uh, we can work on the cold water stuff. Which is what I've been wanting to do since the beginning of the episode. But uh, it took me 15 minutes to work out how to get that shark somewhere on his own. Good grief. The popcorn sales are letting us down, guys. Let's make popcorn really cheap for a minute. And everyone will want to buy it. And then we can put the price up in a minute. Woohoo! Put it back up to 20 at least. Well, I did that, which is very nice. Uh, Prestige is still struggling a little bit, though. Lots of people are looking at this tank, but there's not much with it. It's a bit lacklustre. That's still not enough bins. Did we not put bins in? Extra bins? No, we've not put any extra bins in. Okay. Have bins there. There. We maybe do with them around here somewhere. There. There. And there. Oh, we got bins all the way down. Maybe some bins kind of near to the... 
there and there maybe or something. I don't know where the bins are missing really. Stick one either side of the jelly tank. Could put one either side of the copper bands. Things. So they're generally around the place. Probably going to need some up here as well. So next to the OJ dispenser, and one maybe over there. And hopefully they'll be happy enough with that amount of bins. Tank twenty two and twenty four both look bare. Okay. Deluxe toilet, that sounds good. That's 24, which one is 22? Twenty 22 really looks bare? Really? Got loads of stuff in it. Let me double check that. A bike crust crab has grown. They can eat a size three dank meats. I don't think it's in with anything small enough. To worry about that at all. I would have thought 23 would be more bare if anything. I think it's maybe because it only has one thing in it. This one. But I need something that's like a size 20. In here with it. And I can't fit that, so it will have to wait until another tank's available if, if they want me to change that. My leopard shark has grown, my quin has leveled up. It's now size 30. And it can eat tank mates up to 12. I don't think anything in there, I think it doesn't even eat, like... Nothing in there is less than a 16 anyway, and I think it only eats crustaceans. Yeah, that's fine. So much to think about. Okay, can I think about my cold water tank now? Am I allowed? My lobster is size 10. Yes, big lobster. I want to put in my, like, stingrays and, and things like that in here now. I haven't put in the warm water stingrays. There's so many fish that I've got that I haven't put in yet. Southern stingrays, once they've grown, we can do a massive tank that has the big wob wobbegong shark and things like that and we can change it all around but I need to make sure that before I do that that everything is up to size because otherwise it could be quite bad a blonde skate, uh, it will eat crustaceans but that's fine, I don't think these guys eat anything or really do anything to anybody so a couple of these guys in there let them grow I'm sure we had some other things um, that were cold water. We've got seahorses. We want a little tiny seahorse tank as well. We've got pollock, mackerel, um, Atlantic cod. We don't have any. Hmm, okay. One or two of you in there. Bit of a worry on the filtration. Hmm. Okay. Got plenty of money though, so that's good. A marbled starfish. I don't think there's any starfish eaters in here. Oh no, that's a, a uh, warm water one. Sorry. No, not going to put that in there. The frilled anemone. Do you need light? Yes, you do. So I would probably want to put you in here, as long as nothing in here eats corals. Let's just double check. Got Atlantic pollock. They eat fish. Okay, yeah, that would be a good place to put them then. So I'll put some lights on here. I need a light of five. It's a basic light. Light that up and put some corals in it. I don't know what I'm doing. Frills. Oh, apparently we already did that. Oh well, we're having another one.
I have another two. I have another three. It's interesting, right? You stick, stick another lobster and crab and stuff in there as well. Baby crab! Baby lobster! Oh, the tank's full. Okay, that'll do then. Um, never mind. La la la. What else am I putting in here? There was a lump sucker, wasn't there? That was a... Where's that one? It was somewhere around. I know I've seen it here somewhere. There. And the turbot as well. Now you guys. Crustacean eater and starfish eater. But you would be fine in there. We got any cuttlefish? No, we don't have cuttlefish either. And they are also fish and crustacean eaters. But the fish in here are massive anyway. So I can get all of those in there. A couple of cuttlefish. A couple of lump suckers. A couple of turbots. It's not a very colourful tank, this one. So I may have to do some serious decorating for it. So we need 14 stones. And that's about it. Cool. And rubble in. A few live rocks. Perfect. Right. Now let's sort out uh, the filtration on it. Right. So we've got. Big chiller there. Okay. I could fit another massive pump on there. And that would definitely sort it out. Yep. I really should be like diversifying as well, putting on the big nitrate reactors and things like that. But like, nah. Get rid of those as well on a mega chiller. I wanted to do all these things last time and uh, I couldn't, so. That's looking good. So much neater. Oh, I hate all those little tiny filters. They were so annoying. Okay, well that's a really nice tank now. It's full of all sorts of interesting stuff. So what I want to do now is go through the fish and see if there's any I'm missing. So I've got all of those, 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 those. Mirror and fire, I do not have. Or Anthea, I'm not sure how they're said. They're not going to fit in there. I know this already. Stick them in with a the shark, they'll be fine. No, they won't. They are going to need their own little tank, I think. Black fast. We've got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. No real tanks. I could do with another smallish kind of warm water tank. Arabian butterfly fish. Got those. Coral beauty. Angel fish. So, 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 so. Don't have the southern stingray either. And that's also warm water. Will you eat fish? Do you eat fish? You eat crustaceans. Ah, right. So we could do a stingray tank and put some of the little fish that we can't fit in anywhere else in with it. Got the green murray or eel, the zebra eel. We don't have any seahorses, so we need a seahorse tank as well. That doesn't need to be huge. But those uh, those big uh, those big stingrays do grow big. They'll grow up to like forty. And we need a starfish in there. Alright then, I think I've got a plan for another tank. Bolt up an enemy. Now, do we have any any like um, disco mushrooms anywhere? Because if we do, then the bubble tip and enemy will just go in with them. So I think it will. Let's check it's happy. 
Oh, it needs bigger lights. Okay, let's see if I can get some bigger lights on there then. It's always better to put, like... Well, I'll sell it then. I'll sell that light. And then it will have no lights. Oh, I sold the wrong light, didn't I? I need to sell that light. Okay, so I've got I've now got two lights to replace. Thanks to my stupidity. Um so we need a power light there. Everyone is happy. And a another light. Where, where where's the other an enemies that I've sold the light for? It was in the lobster tank, wasn't it? Where's the lobster tank gone? This is getting so huge, I don't know where anything is. Right, lobster tank. Up here. Right, there we are. Lovely. Any other warnings or anything like that? I don't think. I think we're good. Other than a filtration warning down here. Which might be caused by a broken filter. However, I do feel that maybe just doing this, putting in a massive, great big filter, would just help with any any issues we have with broken down ones. The other thing we can do is swap those over. Put a big filter there. I'd rather overdo it than underdo it and things die, you know. Redundancy is important in this. More important than efficiency, I would say. Okay, so... I need another tank now then, don't I? So that means I need to expand. Again. Get all the, the good little things in there that we didn't have before. Thinking about about that much. Oh no, it's all it's all Oh, uh, I didn't expand that very well, did I? So crazy looking. So now I've got to think to myself, what do I wanna do? kind of tank do I want? Because we've, we've done the kind of um, going around the, the tunnel tanks or through the tunnel tanks if you want. We've done that. So I'm kind of thinking we need something else interesting to do, don't we? What other interesting looking tanks do we have at the moment? We've got the deep outcrop which only goes up to an 88. But that might be quite nice for just some some small things. But if we're going to do Southern Stingrays, they need something bigger. So we could go with some more Belfast tanks for those Stingrays. We don't need a Kreisel tank. Yeah, I'm thinking um, a repeat of the Belfast tanks, maybe. How big are these? They're only 120. Wow, and the Belfast tanks are only like 90. We could do big Belfast tanks though, because they go bigger than that. Yeah, let's do that. Big Belfast tanks. Two of them. And I think we'll be back to warm water again. So I'm just going to make them as big as I can. I think I've expanded enough for that. No, I haven't. I'm just going to only expand this up. So I don't actually need to expand anything else. That should give me the room I need for it. So, Belfast tank... that size now, do I want two giant Belfast tanks or do I want something on the other side that's uh, a bit smaller no I want two of them I think 
and then I'm going to have them kind of recessed quite far back into the wall. And I will need to just quickly take a little chunk out of there and a little chunk out of there. And a little chunk out of the walls as well. I generally like to try... Oh no, it's not like that. Uh, move you over there. Yeah, the walls are going to have to go back a bit for these. These tanks are monsters, but they're good. They're good. They're huge, and I can put loads of stuff in them, and that's great. Okay, fantastic. So what I need to do with these is to pull the wall back a little bit. So I'll need to go like this. go through here and they can see these two massive tanks that are 225 each that should be enough for a couple of stingrays and anything else I want to put in with them so all the little stuff can go in with the stingrays because they only eat crustaceans they'll grow to 40 so if I have maybe four of them they'll be happy in there All those guys are quite happy in there, so I'll leave. I'll leave them in there with the sharks that eat crustaceans, that's fine. So all these other things that I wasn't able to do before. So we have uh, Mira and Thaya, which need to shoal in a group of six. They look quite good in there, don't they? Um, Regal Tang, they need a space of 48 to swim, but that's cool. Four of those in there, maybe? Uh, what else did we need? Got those, 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 got the eels. Oh, seahorses. I don't want a massive seahorse tank, so... I wonder if I could put a little lagoon tank somewhere that could just have a couple of seahorses in, because they are, like... I don't need anything huge for them at all. Is there any little space anywhere that I can just tuck a little tank into? No. <laughs> I filled everything up. Okay. The only other thing would be is if I made this into my seahorse one and I moved the Wobbegong shark and moved things that were big enough to handle being with it in there. I think that would be actually a very good idea. You've got a new house. I hope you like it. Now I'll fill this up with seahorses. I have to be careful of how much vegetation it wants. That's wanting 24 vegetation. I will sell all... It's easier. It's just so much easier if you just sell all the stuff. It's in there already. So for decorations, I want anything that will give me lots and lots and lots. Asparagus weed is a... F that's... F oh, what? Why, what's the use of asparagus weed then? It's a nitrate reactor, okay, but then so is egg rack. It doesn't take out take up that much. Oh no, it does. It only takes one space up, okay. One space for two plant power is the same as kelp. Hmm.
And that one's like, yeah, that's two by two. Okay. I see. I see the point in that then. Asparagus weed isn't too bad. And it can be used in a shallow tank as well. down the bottom there and then I could put egg rack along the back or like some kelp or something just to give it a bit of height I think that is quite a nice seahorse tank so I can keep putting seahorses in now until it's um until we use up all the plants, basically. So I can put another seahorse or two in. It's like one of the smallest tanks I have. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so you need three, so... Could get another two in there, at least. There you are. Lovely. Hopefully people like that tank. They might think it's a bit bare. I think it's lovely. Need Artemia and supplements. I don't have enough money for their food. That's awful. Oh, you don't even have a filter. Oops. Just get a pump in there quickly. Luckily, power pumps are not expensive. It's like, ah, oh, they're all good now. Oh, well, that was stupid. Uh, okay, move, 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 move that over. Really? Why does it keep doing that to me? No! No! Perfect. Right, so why are you still about to die, Mr. S Southern Stingray? Water temperature's too low. Really? Oh no! It's I've just connected it up to a one water tank. Oops. Oopsie. Let's move that away over here, shall we? Right, so what I need to do here. Let's try and be quite clever. Let's see if I can get that to reach. Yes I can. And it'll also need to reach into this tank here. I need another one by the side of it. I have been, I have very much overextended myself now. From there into that tank as well. So that gives them some some heating. We need a big mega heater. We might be able to get one. I need a thousand heating. break my rule as well but well I'll sort that out by putting another pump in later but for now this is all I can afford something's gone really wrong here no no we're good we're good we're good we're good we are good Apart from the fact that we do not have enough filtration at all across all of the warm water tanks because I've put huge massive tanks in. But it can be sorted. It can all be sorted. With money. Money sorts everything out. Mega double filters will be needed. Or large nitrate reactors might help a lot.
Ooh, next research. U-shaped tank, triple filters and large pumps. Let's get these blue and yellow groupers and things like that done. Um, we don't have any money and we don't have enough filtration on a lot of them, but it's only 70. There, It's only enough to make them a little bit unhappy. It's like 74 out of 75, which causes some more issue than others. I mean, that one doesn't have a cave, so he's a bit unhappy with his surroundings in that regard. I don't think anyone's going to be dying over it, though. But it might hit my prestige a little bit. As soon as I've got some money, that'll be fine. A couple of level ups, which is going to help with the feeding and the fixing and everything. It's good. As soon as I've got a couple of thousand in the bank, I'll uh, sell one of these large filters and I'll put a double filter in. Especially that one that's broken right now. I like that you get money back for them as well. Okay, that sorted most of it out. That, that's still a bit... The seahorses are still a bit uh, of a bother. So I'm going to put a nitrate reactor in just to bump them. I need UV for them really, I think, as well. I'll just put another nitrate reactor on to the general loop as well. I've got enough money. I need money so bad! Wow, look at my... Look at my prestige go though. Those new tanks are doing some good. methodically go through everything but I think we're about to get yay finally rank 10 it's taking forever so now we're getting some nice stuff some really nice stuff the large triple filters the massage chairs the UV sterilizers I'm desperate for those the calcium reactor Ooh, increases the growth rate of corals wow that's interesting Most pathogen from the water allowing the most sensitive species to be kept in smaller tanks. Well, I'll stick everything in that I can, really. Stag's horn coral. So much stuff that I need to put in. The gaping cavern is available now. Fantastic. So we are still a little bit... Um, a little bit struggling for filtration in some of the tanks and things like that. So I'm going to be trying to add more and more and more to this um, pump setup. I would like to get the mega nitrate reactors, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get them anytime soon. Don't know what I'm going to be able to do with these seahorses. As I say, once I get a UV sterilizer, that might help them a little bit. They just need a little bit more of a boost to get up to 80. A little bit more of a boost. I could put... Do you know what I could try and do? Put a protein skimmer right by their tank. And then maybe another big filter right by their tank as well. Like, try and get things right by their tank. I know I'm not a big lover of having filtration, like, right by a tank. But I think in this case it might be necessary. Okay, and then I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to stop, because that will be this episode done. So, yeah, we... we do you know what? I think the fact that that's on the filtration system at all is just been enough, generally. But anyway, um, that's it for this episode. I'm going to sort out that Sharky boy next time. I'm going to give him some friends in there. Maybe some, some really huge friends. I may be moving the stingrays over into his tank eventually and then put something else into this tank with all the little fish. Because I just need things to grow and to be big enough that he won't eat them. Because he eats anything up to 17. I've decided he's a boy. I don't know. But I think he is one. Anyway, that's it for today. For the 15th time. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Mega Aquarium, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves. And keep being awesome.